sound is very simple. When we study mathematics, what are we studying? Well, we're studying numbers. And what can we do with numbers? All we can do with numbers is count. And the highest number we can count to is 9. And what allows us to count? Well, in order to count, things have to be the same. Let me illustrate. These are simple units. There's one, two, three. How many? Well, three. And it's very easy because they're all the same. Any little child can count this. Now, let's see. We're just talking about color here. I've got three green ones, and now I have two orange ones. Can I count to five if I say how many uh, green ones? Can't count to five. Can only count to three. But if I change the set and I say, well, now how many blocks up here? Now I can count one, two, three, four, five. That's a simple illustration. These could be apples and oranges, green apples and oranges. If we were counting fruit, we could count all of them. If we were counting apples only, we could only count to three. If we were counting oranges, we could only count to two. Now, same is a crucially important concept in the mathematics. Have you ever seen a student do this? Simple fractions. And come up with or sometimes that. Well, what happened here? They just added the numbers without understanding the concept of same or same kind. Let's look at that problem again using Morton's mathematics. We can see here simply this is one. This is still one, but we've broken it into two parts. And here we have one broken into three parts. Further, I can take it and see that I can separate these into two parts. So I still have one, I just have two pieces of it. And here I have one with three parts. They're all one. But now I can go further and show a small child. Well, if I just talk about this one right here, this part, well now it's not the same as that kind of one, is it? In order to count, they need to be same. But I can say I have one of two pieces, one of two parts. This tells me how numerous, and this tells me the kind. And this is the important concept. We have to know what kind it is before we can count it. Here, I have one of three. Very simple. So now, I can see that if I put these two together, certainly I don't have two-fifths, as we saw earlier, but I can't really count them, can I? I have to make them same. Now, if we were doing this in a lesson, we would take a long time to develop these concepts. But because I only have an hour, we're going to skip ahead a little bit here and make them same. And the way we're going to do this is like this. Can you see now that I've made this into six pieces? All right, and here I've made this into six kinds. Now we can see they're same. So here it's easy to see that I still have one and I just have it in six pieces, and here I have it one and I have it in six pieces. Well, how do I do that here? Well, can you see that one of these, again, needs to be divided into pieces? Now, can you see that I have one of these pieces, and what I have here is three of six? Can you see that? I have one, two, three out of the six. It's the same thing as one half, but it's one, two, three of six. I can write that like this. Three of the six kind. And all we've done is multiply by one. Now here, when I do this, I'm going to do the same thing. And I have one of them 
And can you see I have two of one, two, three, four, five, six pieces? Two of six. And I can write that. Hmm. Like this. Now, three of the six kind and two of the six kind becomes very easy to add. We can even see that they're same. If I take this piece and flip it this way, they're exactly the same. And I have five of the sixth kind. The concept of same is a crucially important concept in mathematics. We can't count unless they're same. The rules didn't change in fractions. We just need to understand that we can't count unless they're same.